Man, what's happening, guys? So we're gonna have a little sit down, a little powwow, a little chit chat before we get into today's trip to the thrift. Y'all know that's when I sieve dig and I find steals and deals live in the thrift trenches. But uh, nine days ago is when I released my last video. My sister just got married, which is crazy. So I was out of town. Everyone who follows me on Instagram kind of has stayed up to date. Um, and the website is gonna have a ton of new drops now that I am back home. But anyways, nine days ago when I dropped my last video, the homie Alex Whitehead, really did drop a comment that put things in perspective and that really made me sit there and have a oh my god moment. He said, Paul has for real been a part of my childhood, dog. I remember watching him in middle school and now I'm in college. Skull and crossbone dead emoji or maybe he's like Somalian. But uh, bro, Alex, thank you, man. Yes, this is gonna be my 10 year anniversary on YouTube in June. So it is nuts that some of y'all literally have grown up on my video and I, I can say this or my videos I can say this though, man, there aren't too many YouTubers that I've watched since I was a kid that I still watch to this day. So the fact that I have at least some staying power and am still a part of you guys' life really does mean the world to me. And I'm glad you're still a part of mine as well. So whether you know, you're know you taking a dump, whether you're eating, whether you're smoking a joint, chilling with your lady in bed on your lunch break, I'm just glad that you guys are here joining me in this moment right now for another thrifting banger, another experience live in the trenches. And it really is crazy, but yeah, man, I love doing this and I'm glad I can pursue my passions with you guys by my side and riding with me. Y'all for real are the family. You all appreciate it. Like the video and uh, without further ado, we're gonna hop in the first store, even though I was in there about 15 minutes ago and left this camera at home. But nevertheless, man, let's go back in time like half an hour ago and uh, you guys witness what I found, cause it's crazy. All right guys, so I apologize for the severe dip in quality, but y'all know, man, we're in the Salvation Army. The furniture section is booming, but that's not why we're here. We're here for the clothes and this is a half off day. So regardless of the fact, if I forget my camera at home, I gotta still record the divine thrift finds because the salve stays blessing me, even with a million and one other souls in here with crazy thrift bangers. We got a couch full of them. So check it out. All right, so we're gonna go full wide angle to display the couch finds and the furniture in here is crazy. Like this couch is super clean as is this lamp that is just adorning it. Anyways, guys, we have this number 54 Brian Erlacher jersey. This is the era of football that I watch. And again, it is half off. So that dude is only gonna be 10 bucks, but I'm talking about Brian Erlacher, Teddy Bruschi, Ray Lewis, that linebacking era was crazy, all right? So it's gonna be 10 for the win, all stitched in. I'm not mad at it. And then you have this guy, tune that thing up. Tiny ears, the Yale Bulldog and a sweater accessorizing seven. 350 today, essential. Chaps, Ralph Lauren, nice red and blue for can too. I love the striping. And then you have these. Now this is why I had to record, because on half off day, it is packed, it is crowded, it is wild, it is crazy but I still managed to snipe a couple of finds. Okay, so here we go, guys. Bruh, you have the Nike Vintage White Tag Made in Taiwan Windbreaker. Six bucks, three today, oh my Lord. This piece is so nuts, so crazy. I love the piping, the striping, this hit on the zipper concealment. Look at this guy, man. Etched to perfection. You have a Nike emblem in the zipper, Nike hit on the back of that neck. And then you have yet another one. This is early 2000s, red, gray, simple. I love the little pull tabs, 17, my God. So cool little what is that, 850 today? Got the side zip to reveal a little bit of hip. Everyone needs it in their life. And then the back hits are absolutely crazy. This is as subtle as fly as it gets. And uh, it is, you know, partly cloudy. Actually, it's fully cloudy outside. So it might rain on the game. And luckily I have that Nike jacket to protect my skin. Okay, now a couple last minute finds we got in here with the Ralph Lauren Club, heavily embroidered. I'm talking about the sewing machine. The seamstresses putting in work, cut and sew with the cross design, seven, seven bucks. Got all type of Roman numerals on the back, the number one. And then last and not least, shout out the homie Matt one time. You got the Harley Davidson. Nice jack-o'-lantern Halloween color scheme. That thing is too clean, six, three today. And that's why I had to record on my phone, regardless of the fact that I forgot my camera like a complete dummy. Stupid. But the first store, 
have some scores. Y'all know what it is. Thanks for joining me. Like this video, dude. And uh, yeah, if y'all want any of this, thriftevenvintage.com. But yeah, that's the first store. And now let's go ahead and proceed on to a day's worth of other spots. Hey, so shout out to Salvation Army one time for coming through. I also purchased an aquarium that I'll probably like fix up on my second channel, which is Paw Plant 2. So if you guys are interested in the outdoors gardening, or fishing ponds whatever subscribe if you guys are not going to watch the content don't even check out my second channel i'm just telling y'all i rather y'all not inflate the numbers and don't actually participate you dig all right guys we out here we in here live in the thrift hella new wrecks are out and kind of to fit the theme we got a lot of exotic and erotic animal finds man the super vintage made in hawaii purple parrot encrustation you got well this ain't wildlife thing but unless you're trying to kill it you know what i mean gun safety rule number one carry one anyways um also got this little space shuttle t i forgot how deep the animal encrusted merch was look at this four frogs looking like they stacked up like a russian doll crazy this is what i mean exotic erotic beautiful vibrant colors and then you have the guy harvey literally these are the fish that i have in my pond because y'all know fishes get you hella biatches you got one bass and hella bluegill just stacked all the way up look at this dude super clean at circa 2004 and then for only three dollars you got something to throw on thigh that still fly 29 by 32 nice rustic well worn in in distress levi's 501s make her work for it bro see she got to get that thrift sausage like she's trying to break into a safe oceans 11 type of stuff and hello there wait a second wait a second do we have more low-key nike grails are these like early 2000s i don't know that that like bejeweled chrome check is just hitting a little bit different these look cozy though i don't know how to find what year these is from i mean third wait hold on is that 15 21 are these 16 dollars am i tripping or is that 12.51 bro I wish I might. see these numbers man literally i need rosetta stone to decipher what the hell their prices are talking about up in here but nice little cherry vanilla ice cream okay i might have to bro this might be another nike steal of a deal in the thrift even though that low key is a ross price these fools are absolutely tweaking with some of their pricing on stuff but uh, moving on, man, a nice, subtle, essential vintage tee that I found that I like. Crab encrusted, bruh. It's the National Doubles Racquetball 1998 Championship tee. And the reason why I like shirts like this is it's kind of like what I got on. Subtle little pocket tee, has a really clean, tight neck, little detailing on it. It is vintage, and then it has little embroidered accents. They can pretty much rock any hat with, any ting with only two bucks i ain't mad oh man guys we might be coming up in the sneaker section today we got a bunch of throwback kicks man you have these new balance super old school 90s look to them they're the 408s forest green on the bottom only seven dollars they kind of match the green bay jersey i might have to throw these in cart one time then they have the reebok classics but bruh this is why you don't leave your shoes in a windowsill. Boy, no Guys, way, sun scorched boy. in yellow on one shoe and then the other shoe is just completely I'm different. different. Yeah, Asymmetrical I'm as it gets I'm in terms of yellowing on the midsole. And it's something to make some planters out of, man. You got the Jordan 1 mids. Nice. Okay, I'm going to have two right here. And then those Nike slides, I think might have released in 2013. Um, but I saw a bunch of the plain black ones that are on eBay for like black on black that are selling for like 30 to 40 bucks and then these are just more clean i can't find any of these pairs really for sale so i'm gonna grab them they just need a quick little white medan for some of that mucus that's on there but i'm gonna go ahead and grab these dudes for a cool 13. okay we got two more things before we depart and i don't know this is turned into like a shoe haul in this thrift which i have not had slash done in a very long while but you have the ross exclusives for the ladies dude no nah, men can wear pink too bruh Sweet. you have the uh the new balance five seven fourth right here these have a slight stain but i don't think they were ever truly worn people tried them on in the store they wanted 44 at ross 15 in the thrift but these are a women's size 11. so where are my big footed ladies at no nah, but any dude who wants to rock a clean pair of bubblegum pink shoes these are nine and a half in men's I think I'm gonna grab them. I'll probably throw them up for like 
30 bucks maybe on uh, the website but these are in great condition so if you want them thirdtypeadvantage.com and then you have yet another pair of shoes another you one. have the what the Kyrie's, bro the atomic black rendition these are really cool looking dude like i just saw the design i was like yo these are pretty dope they do have some toe drag on only one shoe so i don't know how that really happened on one more so than the other and no heel drag whatsoever um a little bit of chipping right there so i'm just gonna clean these dudes up they're 15 but um you know i might risk it for the biscuit on these guys we shall see all right guys we're up out of there man crazy dude two big old sacks full of stuff yeti anyways man i gotta definitely clean off those Kyrie's. they're size 13 the slides are size 13 um any size 11 shoe wearing woman we got something for you or nine and a half in men's the pink new balances for the win we got a little bit of everything up in that store today not too shabby for daddy man huh it feels great to be back in town back on the grind and back with the fines touchdown down like lisa leslie double cross the competition ambidextrous all right guys so we have arrived next spot is family thrift on red bull Red Bull gives you wings, bruh. But yeah, we're going into Family Thrift on Hillcroft Outlet. Everything starts at two bucks. There are hella outlets in Houston, so go ahead and hit them up. Some people may ask, what's my favorite insect? My guys, y'all should already know. If you've been subscribed for a while, it's the whole net. Guys, wow. The most scandalous insect in the animal kingdom in the paint brand, the Charlotte Ho Net. Bruh, it even got it on the sleeves. The cutting so is wild on this. Beautiful aqua berry. Get your antioxidants up. Consume aqua berries. Oh Lord, man. Citrus section bussing. Bro, this Bernard's goes too hard. You have this NASCAR tee. Absolutely swag-tastic. Oh God. Guys, we got a live one, man. Absolutely gray delicious. Sorry, it doesn't look delicious all display like that. But dude, the San Antonio Spurs, my grandma put me onto this team. I'd always be with her in the summertime. She would sleep through three quarters, wake up in the fourth to see the dub. I mean, how can you walk away any better than this? I just, I just praise the Lord, this is awesome. That was the dynasty era. Man, this is hard. Damn, girl got that good weave and that big ass mouth. Hello, that's all gums, very little teeth. Guys, I low key, high key just found a grail. I don't even know what this piece is worth, but it is absolutely crazy check it out man it is a sweater right it says the world standard in video games it's a nintendo mario sweater right it says mcbriar made in usa so this is super cool in and of itself but then the back has big mario all embroidered dude listen it could stop a bullet this thing got me on my knees bruh in the thrift Bruh, this is one of the most fire sweaters I've ever seen. I'm gonna have to do some research up on this piece, but bruh, bruh, bruh. I know off top that this that is this wild. Is <laughs> Yo, I'm not even playing, bruh. I was literally right here, and then like, I don't know, like 15 or eight t-shirts later. I can't even count, dude. I'm so flustered right now. Yeah, hometown heater, 1995 Western Conference champions. And we did go on to win, bruh. Man, that colorway is just straight up mwah, lovely. It's like a tangerine sunrise. Lord, this is beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and chunk two more on the tab, baby. Carl Malone, Adidas, Utah Jazz, man. I wish they were still in New Orleans. That'd be pretty cool. It's fitting, but like, y'all ain't playing jazz music in Utah, bruh. Y'all just straight up playing flesh fiddles, you feel me, and having a million wives. Uh, I'm sorry to do that to everyone in Utah. I love y'all. Regardless, you can have hella wives, though. Get it in. Okay, um, at the titty bar, Hooters tea. Nice. I feel like I just dissed the whole state of my fan base, but that's life. Okay, I think I actually found the real grail up in this store. And we've been having a day just stuffed with sneakers. So in my hand right now, and you can see one is behind me just peeking out. I have a 22 year old shoe, my guys. Bruh, we have these Nike Dunks and kind of a dark peanut butter. These are almost like a wood stain colorway, man. Like what would this be like a nice pecan stain? Complete with the Reebok replacement insole. The only thing that really feels old is this interior leather, which you guys can see it's kind of peeling off right there. But other than that, man, the outsole is in great condition. Have these never been worn? Hold up, these might have legit 
I don't know, they got some creasing, but these look like they have not been worn on the bottoms. That is wild. But yeah, you got two of them. They kind of look like a pretzel as well, man, like a nice pretzel. But you guys can see some of that shedding of the interior snakeskin. Um, these are my size, US size 12, man. Crazy. And then I don't even know what's going on. Hold on, you got this Nike tag looking a little bit interesting. But then this one, what the hell is it? This shit looks wavy, bruh. I don't know what on earth is going on with these guys. You got this one, you got that one. Someone explain, man. Uh, but yeah, man, US size 12. Made in 2000. Y'all can't see that tag, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it. But yeah, pretzel dunks with the Dijon or honey mustard outsole, midsole. Y'all know what I mean. Either way, these are clean, and I have no earthly idea what's going on right here. That is funky. All right, no stone goes left unturned, man. We're about to leave, but uh, you know what they say. If you wear it, hold on. If you wear it on cheek, you find it in the thrift grease. Guys, three Carhartt dungarees for the win. Let's go. All right, man, so the van is loaded up. We're out of there. It started raining, hence why I'm recording in the car. It got real, real nasty real quick in these Houston streets. And man, when it rains and it's hot in Houston, it's just extra ugly. Like Houston, I love Houston for the people, man, and the culture, but uh, bro, Houston in and of itself, it, it is kind of like LA, bro. It's kind of ugly, but without fake people. So, I mean, but hey, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I know I'm going to another store. So let's go ahead and get there while I'm car rain ranting, okay? For sure. Bro, Houston's weather makes absolutely zero sense. I was driving in the rain, got across town, and now it's not raining anymore. But we're going into the last store of the day to try and find a couple more amazing gems. So let's get in here, let's get our pickaxe, let's take the elevator down to the shaft, or wait, what? Let's take the ele elevator down to the cave, start breaking through these racks, and hopefully we'll find some diamonds in the rough. Yo guys, the trifecta is complete. Bruh, crew neck king, crown me. It's the coronation ceremony. You got that Marquette. Oh man, what a name for a kid. Marquette Cantu. <laughs> then you got more American pride, bro. The asphalt animal. Hello, daddy. You got his nice little sleeping bag tied to the front. That can't be good when dead bugs are smacking against it. Anyways, this eagle is about to munch on him. And then you have, speaking of majestic birds, this Ohio all embroidered essential duck crew neck. That's quack tastic. Guys, I'm telling y'all, man, the sleeve never deceives. Look at that craziness, Western button up. But speaking of Westernish, guys, when in the great state of Texas, you gotta highlight that Western heat. You got the Chief riding this painted pony, nice single stiatch, Western Frontier brand. Then you have horses encrusting all the way down from the clavicle to the right of the belly button region and onto the back as well, going full spinal column with a stampede of steeds. And then Kenny Rogers, baby. Yes, nice mustard. This is a 1980 shirt. It's on that T-Joys tag. Bro, look at the hair. Look at the beard. I only could aspire to hold a mic and blow into it. What? The same way my man Kenny Rogers did. World Tour 1984 live in concert. Bruh, mac and cheese color scheme because that is one delicious find and then you got the wrangler baby real comfortable jeans except they added texas in front of it and just created their own brand this guy grabbing the bull by the horns man single stiatch i love the wash it's crazy man we got ourselves four sharp shooting classics baby hell yeah all right i feel like we're starting to build up a little theme bruh Look at this Western piece of amazingness. What is this, like Guatemalan, Peruvian? Am I tripping? Oh, we got a hole in the sleeve, but it's still cool, man. The rainbow's enough to distract from that tiny little flaw, okay? So we're just gonna look past it and, uh, and just delve and dance in the majesty that this garment creates through the loom. Oh, yes. Dude, speaking of getting wild in the West, my favorite type of toad is a horny toad. Hold on, man, focus in, focus for the wing. Look at this, horny toad Harley Davidson, Temple, Texas. Yes, sir, indeed, baby. Look at this one, this one got like the, the sickle. That fool's about to go till in the fields or, or maybe like stand over someone's dead corpse. Either way, man, the season never ends. Harley. Oh, guys, then tucked away 
in the ladies area. You got the tequila sunrise on the Houston Astros made in Taiwan. This is super old school, 100% polyester jersey. Hey man, H-Town, Texas. Brazewood, baby. It is H-Town, Texas. Brazewood, baby. Guys, we got another crazy twofer, man. You have these people. This guy over here is laughing. <laughs> Created out of marijuana smoke, or maybe it's just fumes from the back of this caddy. Huh. It says love and hate. This is hella clean. It's giving me like GTA San Andreas vibes. But then you have this banger. The GOAT. Miguel Jordan champion size 48 as crispy as it gets and the back is too oh my god sigue michael sigue jordan lord have mercy it is hot as hell bro out of nowhere it's sticky <laughs> it's wet but uh, we came through with some gems today, bro. And I just want to thank all y'all, as always, for supporting, man. And for everyone who made it to the end, thank you. You are loved, man. You're loved like my own kid, all right? I want to take you home. I want to spoil you on Christmas. I want to get you, like, new shoes from Ross because I ain't going to Foot Locker for you. I'm sorry. I'm just real. But uh, thanks for joining me again, guys. Like the video. Subscribe if you aren't already. This gear is going to be available on thriftevinvintage.com. But I just want to tell y'all, it might not be today because I'm back in town. I'm a little bit behind. But if you follow the Thrift Heaven Vintage Instagram, that's how you know when these drops occur. When I have a new post hit, that means the website is stocked and full. It's loaded all the way to the brim. It's overflowing with banging ass deals and steals because I keep it real. And I keep the prices lower than all these other shysty resellers, all right? I'm trying to make a dollar, but I want y'all to feel good about your purchase. It helps keep the lights on. It really provides for me and motivates me to keep making these videos. So yeah, man, just show love on there or love on this video. I don't even care, man. I'm putting on these shades that are definitely meant for women, but uh, they just need to go on my face because the sun is doing weird stuff today, kids. Anyways, man, this is a minute and a half random rant. I love y'all. Thank y'all. Stay blessed. And uh, I'll catch y'all soon. All right, I'm going to shoot you now. Peace. Wait for it. Ah! <laughs> Boom! Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life I roost And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to. You should get used to. You should get used to.